Hey everyone, time for another Cop Cave secret. I did miss last week, so I'm going to give you a few tricks in this video. It's still only going to be one episode though. Now, this first one works with any ladders, any kind of beams, stairs. I think this is probably the only beam in RuneScape so far. But anything where you have to right click to go up or down. So, I don't even know what stand in would be if I were out here. Okay, so it's just going to give me the choices. But if I don't want to have to click and then go to a separate menu, I could right click and ascend or descend. So what you can do, like say the Gnome Stronghold, Wizard Tower, if you know there's going to be a few stairs or whatever you need to climb in a row, so you right click and ascend and right click again right away. And as soon as you ascend, you can click ascend again. And it'll take you up both levels. It'll also work with descend. So right here I don't have to left click or right click. Here I have to right click. So I right click to send, right click again. And as soon as I'm there I can click it again. It's not crucial. I mean I can't think of anything that you need to do that would... That you'd want to ascend the stairs and ladders a second faster. But it's just a convenient trick that I found out a while ago. Alright, now off to RuneSpan. Runecrafting Guild. Here, high level. Alright, now, this, to some of you, to many of you even, may be common knowledge, but quite a few people that I mentioned this to were surprised about it, so I figured it was worth featuring here. You don't have to siphon for runes to go across all the paths. To make it easier on yourself, you talk to Wizard Phoenix. And one of the options is going to be, can I have some runes? He will ask you for some points, but if you've ever been to RuneSpan before, you're going to have some points. Uh, 177 points, that doesn't take very long to get. So even if you were to stand over here and siphon some of these things, and then you can tell him, yes, I want the runes, and so he'll give you 10 of each, and that should be enough to get you wherever you're going, unless you're just like in here to explore. But if you know the path you want to take to where you're going to go to get your maximum efficiency or XP for your level, then you just get your runes, go your path, and then you chill there. Alright, on to the next one. Oh, I'm glad I let this whole foot out. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make any GE offer buy or sell instantly. Now, this isn't going to work for items that are over max cash, that players sell for over max cash. So don't be thinking, like, you're going to go instantly buy a bunch of blue party hats, scam the system. No. The item has to be on the GE if you're buying it. Now, if you're selling an item over max cash and you throw it in the GE, yeah, that's going to sell instantly and you're going to make someone's day really good. But okay. Now, say for the final part of this video, I need some super attack potions. And let's see if they buy. We'll get 20. Okay. Now I can't. I'm going to cancel it, and I'm going to put it back in. Now, how much of a hassle is this going to be if I raise the offer a little bit, and then raise a little more, and then raise a little more, to find exactly how much it is? Okay, mid-price was 8600 for these. Now, I know what you're going to say, that this is a joke portion of the video, it really is not. But if you just hit this button a ton of times, they're going to buy. And you're going to get a ton of cash back. So it was 8600 and we got it for 108. So that really was not much of a difference, and I know I'm only buying 20, and it's a rather cheap item. But you're really not going to be able to get the item unless you're willing to wait. Now, if you're willing to wait, then put it in for mid and check it tomorrow. But depending how much an item is fluctuating and how fast the price is going up, that might not even work. They might be going up too fast for you to even get them. So, same thing with the selling thing. If something you're trying to sell is not selling, let's say Yak Pouch. I do need a Yak, though. 
Okay. So mid is thirty-seven fifteen. And we're gonna hit this minus sign a bunch of times. Okay, so there really is not much of a difference there. I cut away to buy the different supplies I needed just so you didn't have to watch me do the same method over and over again. Now again, this is not a joke portion of the video. It is to explain how the grand exchange mechanics work. And I'm going to show you this with a single death rune. So now if I'm trying to sell this death rune, say I'm some random person you don't know, and I'm going to put this death rune in for, I don't know, 2k. I'm going to go way above GE, so it's clearly not going to sell. So pretend some random person you don't know ha is trying to sell a death rune. And now you want to buy a death rune. So I'm going to type in death rune. And we're going to go under the impression that 2,000 coins for a death rune is only a little bit above GE mid price. So that when you're hitting your plus plus plus, you're actually going to exceed that. So say I exceed that someone is trying to sell that death rune for 2k. And let's go with 10k. Okay. Now, no one else is trying to buy a death rune for anywhere close to 2k or over 2k because it would have sold. So if I hit confirm, I got a death rune. And I got way more back than just 8k. I got someone else's death rune. The GE has more uh, mechanics to it than people realize. So just because someone is trying to flip merchant, they have these items in for higher prices, it doesn't mean you're going to get screwed and you're going to buy their item. So don't be worried about this. See, my death rune still has not sold. No one else pay is paying over 2k. I'm the only person in RuneScape who just tried to pay over 2k for a death rune, and I did not get my own death rune. So you don't need to worry about it if someone has some crazy uh, high offer for an item. Just like people I know have offers in for party hats at like 100k. If someone were to sell a party hat for one coin, I'm 99.99% sure that it would sell for fairly close to whatever the majority of them are selling for, of that kind. It's not going to go to the person who has it in for 100k, so they, they can leave their offers in and they, they can be hopeful for the rest of their RuneScape lives. Alright, on to the final portion. What you're going to do is you're going to take your Torstals place them inside your yak. I can't interact with my familiar, I've turned that option off. So you go up here, interact, and store. In case you haven't figured out, this is a slightly faster way to make overloads. Can I actually exit this from here? No, oh, it exits either. Alright. Now again, you may already have thought of this. It just hasn't occurred to many people that I've talked to. Usually you can only make four overloads per inventory. With this method you can make five. The interface actually auto-detects that you have them in your familiar. So you can just do five, five, because the option is right here instead of going down to try to find X if you hit four. Five, 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 leaving me three spaces, which I would have, of course, more torsos in my bank. I'd assume you're not making only 20. I'm just doing this for the video purposes. So... You withdraw three from your bank, and now when I go to make the overloads, it auto detects five. Now, if I don't take Beast of Burton fast enough, it's only going to make three because I only have three. So, what you need to do after you make your first two overloads, you'll have one left, you take Beast of Burton, and that'll give you another two for a total of five. So, you just hit it one, two, and then you take Beast of Burton, and you will continue making them as you take Beast of Burton. So you go back into your bank, hit the bank all, 5, no, nope, not 10. The nice thing about that is if you do hit 10, you can just hit deposit 5. Again, my torstals are in my yak. I would have more in my bank, though, if I were making many. Hit make overloads, and then take these to burden. So you get the idea. I'm going to finish making what I have just because I bought 20 for the purposes of this video. I hope some or all of these secrets 
you saw I almost clicked the X. I gotta remember clicking down here. It, it even happens to me sometimes. I don't know why. I just at an old habit. I want to click up there, and depending on what bank you're at, you will have to hit the X. So, I hope some or all of these tips in this video have helped you. Give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more if you're not already. And I'll see you next week.